Hope you guys are doing well. Jared and I are going to share the news with you. Jared, what's the top of the news story this morning? All right. So first we got this really interesting story of a photographer. You can see here uh, of what he did. So he had this window in his door That's and really then wild. he set up the lens and all this. It's pretty amazing what he's done. You really, this is only during COVID would anybody have this kind of time on their hands to set up a camera on their door. Oh, yeah. So yeah. people, and, uh, so I imagine what he did was people didn't just randomly show up. I imagine he set these guys up to come by his door, right? Yes. And then he communicated that with them with a speaker from inside his home. Oh, that's um, cool. So, yeah, I mean, and... Uh, the he's now created a series of these photos. It's called door frames. Uh, and it's just really interesting to, you know, see this super creative approach to, you know, photography in this time. In the COVID era. Wow, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Then Whoa, our next story. We're back to Doton. Going back to an old friend of ours. Our friend yeah. Doton. He's published his book. It's on Amazon, right? Yep, it's called Nowhere to Go But Everywhere. So if That's you were there cool. for our podcast with him, uh, he talked about it, and it's a fascinating project. I got to tell you guys, I really, really like his approach. Like, look at that, um, you know, the kids on the bus with their shoes. Let's keep scrolling through these. And then, of course, he converts everything to a black and white using the uh, the Nick software silver effects pro which i love and it's interesting since i did the show with him i've learned a lot of new stuff and i talked to another uh expert who actually advised dxo when they were developing it he had trained with ansel adams um, and so he brought all that ansel adams knowledge to the development of the software itself pretty cool because you've got, you know, you, in order to convert a color digital to black and white, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. It is not just a question of pushing a button and saying, oh, yeah, turn this into a black and white. You've really got to get in there and develop it. And I really appreciate that. And that's what Doton has done with these images. You know, he really, he made the point of you really got to invest yourself in your work. You can't just fly in, take a few images and fly yeah. out. Ed Kashi made the same point. Actually, every one of our, you know, pro photographers who are creating street photography or documentary work, you know, they make this point, get to know your subjects, get involved with them, let them feel comfortable enough to let you inside their world. And I found that in my series that you guys may have seen uh, Mexico, I became an insider with these people. So they they knew who I was. They saw me with my camera and they got used to me and they didn't feel threatened by it. But here is Doton. So his book is called, say it again. Uh, nowhere, nowhere to go, but everywhere. And it's available it. on Amazon. It's in the description. Yep. Uh, you there on Amazon, there's only eight copies left right now. But it says more are coming. And what else is on our list? What else we got going on here? Fuji, what are they uh, doing? Fuji India has announced a month-long contest. Okay. Uh, they want to encourage uh, people who have Fuji cameras. I know that there are a couple of people who like Fuji. Uh, so they want people to take pictures with their cameras. And the theme of the contest is creativity during crisis. Uh -huh. They want to see what are you doing during your uh, social isolation and how are you doing, what are you doing to help encourage and inspire other people to stay positive? Are so, those just Fuji users in India or can other people enter this? Um, you know? I, I believe anyone can use it, but it has to be with a Fuji camera. Okay, um, well, that's I, cool. But I also know that we have a lot of people in our audience from India. Yeah. Uh, so, hey, check that out. You should enter that. It Jump started August 19th. And it's going for a month, so it ends September 19th. So you've got, what, like two weeks left? Yeah, yeah about two weeks. So when you yeah, guys do enter, will you please also let us know on our AYP Club uh, Facebook page? I'd love to see your 
your photo that you're entering. I'd like to hear your progress. And if you win, wow, that'll be awesome. We'll feature you on the show ourselves. How's that? Yeah. Okay, what's next on the news? Google Images. All right, so yeah, we've so this got this cool, cool new feature. So Google Images has now launched. This was a couple days ago, so it's brand new. It, they now have a new licensable badge. Uh, so now when people search for images, if the photo has license information that's been put on it, uh, they can find it. So this is going to be a really cool way for people to, you know, you can put your work up there, have your credit on it, and then people can easily find where to get the image. Okay, so and I, I see an image on, off. if I see an image on Google Photos, for instance, and I like it, and I want to use it, so I click on it, and it will tell me who owns that and that I can get a, a license to use it if, I, if I'm using yeah. it commercially. Okay. So I'm doing sale uh, here. We'll do sailboat, like what they do in their example. I right. thought it'd be cool to just show it off. Then you can go to tools, usage right, commercial, and other licenses. And then you'll see here, all these photos have license information. Very cool. And then if you click on the license information, it gives license detail. Uh, on this one, it tells you the creator and the credit of where they got it from. Uh, and then on some of these, it also says, get this image on, like, uh, I guess this one's Depot Photos. So you click on that, it takes you right to it. That's and awesome. not only that, you can also put the license details. So then it'll take it right to, so that you don't have to wonder, like, but what, what can I license it for? So, uh, I don't know, like, does this, I, I'd like to know from everybody in the community, does this make you more interested in the idea of putting your work out on stock photo? Uh, because yeah. this seems like it's going to make it way easier for photographers uh, to get paid. Because the more convenient you make a service, the more likely it's going to be used. You know, and I, listen, here's the thing. Anything we can do to give credit to photographers is mm -hmm. really important because that preserves your intellectual property. You created it. Uh, I really don't like seeing my stuff pirated, and I, I do. Almost every day I get a note, a Google, I have Google Alerts set up for everything on my, uh, you know, my books and whatnot. And I get these weird, and I can always tell they're pirated just because how, where they're coming from. There's some strange place. So we, we really don't want that. And this is, this is a step in the right direction for sure. Hold on, um, this, this guy I love, Dan yeah budnick so dan budnick recently passed away and uh you may not know who he is but i'm sure that you've seen a couple of his photos oh yeah look at that one so he he, fo he photographed the civil rights movement and native american life he that's look it. at that he has a, a cover martin luther king on time magazine harry belafonte these are all like really iconic people well first of all there's so much Look at the number of people there, you guys. I mean, um, just phenomenal. This is the Civil Rights March that Martin Luther King, I believe, this, if it's the same one, you know, I had yep, a dream. It's I had the, a dream. Uh, yep, it's that one. Very moving speech. If you haven't heard it, you should definitely listen to it. There. Now look at that. There's just the juxtaposition. There's Lincoln and there's that shadow. Uh, pretty brilliant how he got that. It's this this guy was a, a very skilled photographer. And if you guys haven't heard this message from AYP, you haven't been listening. Listen, one of the most important things that you can do to build up your visual library and to sort of stoke your own creative fire is to look at other people's work. And it's not to copy them. You couldn't copy this guy if you tried. So don't worry about it. And that's true with almost everybody. They're in a unique situation. You're never going to be there. It was a moment in time that, you know, was unique to that. But it, it does show you why it captures your, your eye. Like, what is it about it? And you can dig in on this. We could spend All, hours just looking could, at his photographs, we could, but we got to move on. You guys can do that, and you should. Yes. It's part of your education. What's next? What else we got out there? This All is, right. To end us off day. today, we've got something a little fun. 
uh, photo. Somebody <laughs> made a plugin for Photoshop that cracks uh, me. that creates infinite jokes. So it why will... do you need jokes in Photoshop? I mean, it's it seems some so people bizarre. like to keep themselves entertained while I they're working because so. <laughs> uh, you know this is definitely not for everybody. But uh, I actually have plugged it. I've actually installed it now. Oh yeah, um, because it... I wanted to see what it was like. It it, it it's funny. Can you tell? Um, you off, choose, does it tell off uh, between jokes different too, voices? Um, they... I didn't see hear any like that, but it does tell <laughs> some that are a little bit more not mean, but you know a little bit more sarcastic. Uh, I think those work well with the British voice. Yeah. Uh, really. But one of my favorites was your image is now being uploaded to Adobe Creative Stock. Uh, you'll be paid in exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Like those are some of the jokes that people a little made. dry humor there. Uh, well, you that, know, it's it's just something a little humorous. Yeah, a little, to, we like to end on a little bit. And, of humor. and it's it's a free thing. I, I put a link in if you want to try it out for yourself. Um, you know, like I said, it was amusing, and the fun part is you can also submit your own jokes there if you, you want, and then people can rate your jokes, and you can rate other people's jokes. So. You know, hey, you got to have a little bit of fun when the world's the way it is right Please. now. Please, <laughs> that's so important. Well, I haven't asked you guys to subscribe. If you haven't already done so, please do that. And, you know, share is really important because we want these videos out there. Not just this video, but our other videos. Share your favorite videos with your friends. Like, leave your comments. I try to answer all your comments. And listen, remember to get out and capture your own images of life.